Uh, buongiorno. Welcome to another exciting edition of Meet Your Neighbor. My name is Ron Falcone. I had this idea back in the fall of 2006 where I wanted to interview you know, local politicians, local business people, so all of you here in Brunswick could have the opportunity to meet your neighbor. We have a very special guest today. His name is Daryl Kick, and he is running for the state representative in Ohio, in the Ohio House 70th District. Mr. Kick, welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you for having me. How are you today, sir? Doing well. Daryl, can you tell us something about yourself that maybe not too many people know about you? Well, I'm an absolute lover of basketball. Basketball? Um, played it, coached it, and, and uh, enjoy every minute of it. Do you, um, um, do you coach adults, kids? I've both. both. Uh, well, not so much adults, uh, <laughs> older children too. Uh, started out in fifth and sixth grade programs, helping with that, and, okay. uh, and moved up to coaching, assisting with some boys varsity, and now I'm, for two years, I've been the uh, girls varsity coach at our local school. God, fantastic. Um, tell us, why, why do you want to be a state representative? Well, I've always loved politics. Um, and that may shock some people that <laughs> get frustrated by it, but I, I do love it. and. Uh, I've seen some great things happen in Columbus the last few years and, and really want to be a part of it and uh, sure. continue that movement. Sure. Uh, Daryl, can you tell us where is the 70th district? Well, there are seven, mostly the western townships of Medina County, okay. and then they're all of Ashland County and four townships of Holmes County. So we kind of wrap around Wayne County there a little bit. <laughs> and uh, what, what county are you from? I'm from Holmes County. You're from Holmes. So that would be like what the the southern part of the the district then very northwest corner northwest um, corner i actually have a loudonville address <laughs> which is southern national county so. okay well, yeah, in, in the city of brunswick it's divided uh i know it's divided into two uh, two districts for the house uh the 69th and the 70th mm -hmm. and 69th is uh, steve steve hamley 70th right now is dave hall but dave can't uh, can't run for for re-election so you're decided to throw your hat in the mm -hmm. ring there <laughs> Hey, uh, Daryl, can you tell us what, uh, no, well, let me backtrack a little bit. I've had different people on the, on the show. I've had, I've had judges, I've had councilmen, I mm -hmm. had the mayor, um, and you know, we all talked about you know, what they did mm -hmm. and what, what those particular jobs did. Can you uh, refresh our memory and tell us maybe what, what's, say what does a state representative do here in the state of Ohio? Well, simply we represent the people of the district. Okay. Uh, we hear from them, we hear from businesses, we hear from individuals, and we help make laws to make things better, we hope. On, this, on the state level. As, as, yes, at the state level, as well as maybe repeal some things that haven't worked or <laughs> the time is up for those. So. Well, that's, that's good. Tell us, tell us about your current job. Currently, I work for uh, United States Congressman Bob Gibbs as his district director here okay. in Ohio. That's what's wonderful. What, is the, what does the district director do? <laughs> Well, simply put, I'm in charge of the Ohio staff. It's a small group that we handle uh, mostly casework issues, but we also hear from uh, constituents and businesses as well that are concerned about policy, and we relay that on to the D.C. staff as well as the congressman. Do you spend, do you spend a lot of time um, in D.C. or here, or what, what, how do you divide your time? Oh, I'm, I'm in D.C. a few times a year, but mostly I'm here with the people. Um, and making sure the staff has all the tools that they need to get done what they need to do. So if like people had a question about um, anything on the federal level like immigration well, or taxes or... D.C. And, and the district office are two totally different offices. Hmm. Um, the D.C. office handles mostly policy issues. Okay. How is it going to work? Businesses come and say what they, or you know, individuals as well, what they, the needs are. Where at the district level, we handle more of personal issues. Uh, my social security check didn't show okay. up. Uh, the VA is claiming that I'm not so eligible anymore, or uh, I need a visa or passports and things like that. Um, we handle the more personal issues. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So tell us, how did you uh, how did you get involved in, in politics in the first place? Uh, well, I take that back to my Farm Bureau days. Um, mm -hmm. Joined Farm Bureau. So you're a uh, farmer. I am. Okay. I am currently Good. a farmer. Uh, just uh, helped with whatever I could locally at the county level in Holmes County, became a county president, um, went to Columbus and did code and policy at a state level with them, just helping set our Farm Bureau agenda, and just always enjoyed that very much. Darrell, what do you see as some of the, um, the main issues facing the, uh, the House District right now? Uh, well, you're, you're, I'm sure everybody's heard about it, the drug issue yes. is, is just so prevalent everywhere. Um, even in small town America, where you don't think of it as much, but it's there, it's everywhere, it's, it's your neighbor. Yeah. And uh, 
th that's a big topic, but also um, just how the environmental issues are handled. Uh, it's very important to me as well. Okay. Water quality, property rights, um, there's many aspects that uh, hit us. Uh, manufacturing has come back somewhat, but we can do better, and I want to help get government kind of out of the way to help that as well. What, what are some of the things that you like to do um, if, if you are elected state representative? What would I like to do at the state house? Yeah. Um, well, I'm very interested in, in the ag and environmental issues, of course, because okay. of my background. Okay. Uh, but I also, um, I, I want to be a bridge. Bridge. We're so divisive right now um, within our own party, with other parties. And I think I've got the tools to bring people together and, and help bridge those gaps. Wonderful. Yeah, you said you lived in uh, Loudonville? Just outside of Loudonville in Holmes County. Okay, yes. now how long have you lived there? I've lived there my entire life. <laughs> um, my family has been there since the 1830s. 1830s? Yes. Yeah, wow. My, my children are uh, seventh generation on the same plot of land. <laughs> We've not left. <laughs> That's great. Tell, well, tell us about your family. Well, um, I'll start with the best part, my wife, uh, of almost 22 years. Wow, um, that's great. We have five children. Five kids. Um, two in college and three still uh, at Kingsway Christian down near Orville. Mm. Um, family farm. Um, I was third generation dairy farmer years ago and, and got out of that, but we still have all the land and, and uh, we lease the facilities. And so we still do some farming on the side and bale a lot of hay. And my dad is there helping with some beef cows and stuff. So I still go home to that in the evenings and have fun. So. <laughs> That's great. Can you, can you explain your educational background? Uh, I grew up in Loudonville, graduated at Loudonville. Um, okay. I did not go on to higher education. There was um, situations with the family. Uh, I lost my uncle and I wanted to help. Well, I was, I was uh, in junior high and loved farming. That's, great. That's all I cared to do and I had every intention to go to ATI but it didn't work out. My dad was all alone and, and I just wanted to help and continue to work there. But Daryl, uh, explain some of the things that you like to do for fun. Oh, what I like to do for fun. <laughs> basketball. <laughs> basketball. <laughs> I do love basketball but I also like um, the kids are so involved with so many different aspects, sports and things and, and uh, I just I love being a dad. Just love being a dad. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Hey, Daryl, for every guest on the show, I like to play a game of fill in the blank, oh. okay? Okay. When I was a child, I blank. <laughs> I used to get in trouble. Used to get in trouble? <laughs> yes. I was orange. I had three older sisters and uh, no brothers. And uh, I had to, uh, I guess, uh, my sisters were kind of, you know, mean once in a while. I, they would say not. They're, I'm spoiled rotten now by them. But uh, yeah, I was pretty ornery growing up at times. What about um, the one place I want to visit is blank? Oh, wow. I'd have to say Israel. Israel. Yeah. Oh, why I Israel? Would really, I would really like to do that trip someday to walk so where Jesus walked. Land. Yes. Oh, that would, that, yes. that would be Yes, and as a dairy farmer, we did not travel much at all. So <laughs> I have not, uh, my family and the kids and I, we've, we've traveled a little bit, but um, never internationally like that and would love to do that someday. Oh, that would be, that would be fantastic. Yes. Hey, Daryl, what about when I retire, I blank? I'll still farm. Still farm. So yes. farm is in your blood. It is in my blood. I enjoy <laughs> it thoroughly. Uh, but I would also say on the other side of that is I'm looking forward to uh, traveling with my wife. Um, we've structured our life in a way that we hope to have some money at the end and, <laughs> and uh, we want to be able to travel again. That's good. Not much that I did growing up at all. So, <laughs> oh, Traveling is great. Yeah. Can you give any neighborly, neighborly advice to people who are watching right now? Well, I'd have to say get to know your neighbor. Don't assume things. Um, one of the things I've said for a very long time is we seem to uh, have a a society that just assumes things right. and then there's division and, and just get to know your neighbor. You may not like your neighbor, but at least get to know <laughs> your neighbor and understand where they come from. <laughs> yeah. You're okay. State uh, candidate for state representative in the 70th yes. district. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Brunswick and, and chatting with us. <laughs> Appreciate it very much. Well, well, you know, my name is Ron Falcone. I'm the host of Meet here neighbor. I had just wanted to thank uh, Daryl Kick for coming up to the, coming up here to, to our great city of Brunswick and chatting with us and telling us a little bit about him and, and his candidacy. My name is Ron Falcone. I'm signing off. Arrivederci. <laughs>